Hey everybody, welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com in conjunction with phillyisugly.com, which is a time-lapse film project that I've been working on, my first ever time-lapse film project, and you can check it out at phillyisugly.com. Today, however, we're going to take a look at just basic video editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. I am not a pro video editor by... Uh, anyone's standards, and I have I've have not done a huge huge amount of video editing. Um, but when it came to uh, this whole Philly is Ugly project, I've done tutorials on the process that I've used for everything else. So I figured, you know what, I'll crack open Premiere Pro and I'll show everybody how I use Premiere Pro as well. And feel free to judge me. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and begin using Pro uh, Premiere Pro. That is, and I'm going to create a new project now. This Philly is Ugly project, I have created uh, a series of clips, these video clips, I can find them, where can I find them? I can find them somewhere here in this folder. So there are a bunch of video clips here, and all of these clips, you can see it's a very, very wide screen. In fact, I'm going to open up one of the, the smallest clips here in a, in a quick time, excuse me. They're, they're quite huge, it's 2580 pixels wide by 1080 tall, so 1080 pixels tall by 2580 pixels wide. So I want that to be the size of my Premiere profile. So I'm going to go ahead and browse to a location that I like. I actually have one there that I like. I'm going to name it tutorial or something like that or if I can spell tutorial, there are tutorials, that's fine. Hit OK and I'm going to choose a DSLR 1080p 24 frames per second. Now 1080p, if I look at the frame size, is actually 1920 high by 1080 on the vertical not what I want. I want the 1080 on the vertical, but I want 2580 on the the uh, the width. So I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to set the frame size to 2580 by 1080. And then I'm going to go ahead, excuse me, and hit OK to open this up in Premiere. And you can see I've got this nice, thin, very cinematic widescreen uh, Premiere file. So I'm going to uh, choose to set this to fit. Actually, maybe I'll go back to 25%. I don't know what I want to do. Then I'm going to go over to my little project folder here and I'm going to drag in a video clip. In fact, I'll probably drag in this revised uh, clip and just kind of give you guys a quick basic overview of how I was working this whole thing. Uh, in fact, I'll even drag in maybe part of the soundtrack just to show you how I was sort of cutting the video to go with the, the sound in the soundtrack. So I'm going to drag in this MOV file drag it into Premiere Pro, drop it, it's going to go ahead and import that file, boom, there we go. If I drag this over to my timeline here, it's going to say, hey, clip does not match the sequence of settings. We can change the sequence settings, I guess, to fit that. See, this is where my video skills really start to fall flat, um, but uh, put up with me for it. Uh, so that, that's, uh, that's what we've got now. We've got the video file dropped in. In fact, if I hit the space bar to play it, we get a very low quality version and we can see that our clip is in fact playing very nicely. Uh, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Now, what I'm going to do is, this is actually two clips. If I get to the middle, you can see that we then switch to the airport shot. So the idea is, I actually want the airport shot to come first. I want the bridge shot to be after the airport shot. And it doesn't really make sense, but it's just so we, we I can show you how I was doing some of the cutting and things like that. So what I'm going to do is, here in between the two shots, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on my, my timeline. Um, and oh, by the way, I'm zooming in. I should probably make my premiere window a little bit smaller so you can see what's going on here. Bear with me here. This little zoom bar, if I drag it in or out, will zoom me in on the timeline. So I'm going to zoom in on the timeline and I'm going to find, you see there's that little black buffer in between the two clips. So I'm going to use my arrow keys and nudge over until I see my last frame. And then I'm going to grab my little slice tool, the razor tool, and I'm going to cut the clip there. Then I'm going to use my arrow keys and just go to the right until I get to my first frame of the airport and I'm going to cut it again. I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'm going to select that little sliver in the middle, this little guy here, and I'm going to delete it by hitting the delete key. Gone. So now I can take the airport and I can move it ahead of the, the, uh, the bridge shot. So I'm going to move the bridge shot up onto the second video track. I'm going to move the airport shot back. Oop, wrong clip. Grab the, or the airport shot, excuse me. There we go. So we've got the airport shot. And I'm actually going to make the airport shot go a little bit faster. So I want all of this action. You can see this is over the course of 20 seconds. See, 20 seconds before we get to the end of the airport shot. All right, 20 seconds. That's a little bit too long for one shot. I don't know who wants to sit there and watch the same clip for 20 seconds, at least in this kind of film, um, unless it's something ridiculously interesting and stunning and beautiful and all of the above. So 20 seconds is a bit long for something like this. So we could either cut it down or we can go ahead and just speed the clip up. So if we increase the clip, make it twice as fast, let's say, it's going to cut it from a 20-second clip to a 10-second clip. 
So that's great. So what we're going to do is select the clip, right click on it, and choose speed slash duration, and set the speed to 200%. Hit OK, and there we go, we've shortened our clip. That's pretty cool stuff. And uh, we can then grab the end of it if we want and even shorten it a little bit more uh, just to trim off some of the junk on the end. Now that we've done that, I'm going to grab the bridge shot and move it back. And we can see we'll go from the airport right over to the bridge. Now that we've done that, so that's basically how I was uh, going ahead and fitting clips together. Some clips I sped up. Uh, I didn't really slow any down because I wanted to keep that 24 frames per second thing uh, working in there. So some clips I would speed up a little bit, uh, and that can make your clouds move faster. That can make traffic move faster, things like that. That can be pretty cool effects in a time-lapse film. Uh, and then we're going to basically adjust this so this cut happens right uh, at our, wherever our soundtrack uh, ends up making a little bit of a, a cut in the music. So I'm going to go grab uh, the music. I'm going to navigate out. I'm going to go soundtrack. And I'm going to use maybe this. This is a soundtrack that we didn't use. And I don't even remember what this sounds like, so I'm taking a little bit of a flyer here. So I'm going to drag this in and drop it on the audio track. And I'm going to hit this little arrow to open it up so I can see what's going on. And you can probably hear the sound because I've got my speakers on, but that's all right because we want to hear what we're doing. You can hear the drums. And we've got our first hit of the piano keys. So I'm thinking that I actually want the bridge shot to come in right there when that second dun dun boom. That's where I want the bridge shot. That's where I want to switch from the airport to the bridge shot. So normally I can adjust the soundtrack here, but I'm not going to cheat. What I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to slow the airport clip down a little bit and we'll trim the airport clip to meet the change in the music. So I'm going to select the airport clip, right click, go speed duration, and set this to maybe 125%. Hit OK. And, ooh, actually we got that really, really close. I'm going to just go back to what straight 100% uh, just because I want to show you how I make the cut. So I'm going to listen again. So that, that hit of the piano right, right there is where I want this to change. So I'm going to grab the end of my clip. You see the big red arrow appears. And then it's going to snap to my playhead or this, this line. Now, if it's not snapping, it's because this little snap tool or the little uh, magnet here is turned off. So that's what it'll look like. You want to make sure that's turned on and your clip will snap right to that up, down, that vertical line. And once you do that, you just grab your other clip, the bridge shot, and drop it right in. So let's see what it looks like. And then right there as the music changes, as it does that dun dun dun, as it does that sound, by the way you can hear I have a magnificent singing voice, right? So right there as soon as that change happens, we change clips as well. So it's fairly simple, it's fairly straightforward, um, and that's just you know one of the things that I was doing in the film uh, was as the music was changing, I was going ahead and changing clips where it made sense. Now every change in the music you don't need to have a change in video clip, uh, but that's it. That is basically how I was editing uh, the, the film in Premiere. So that's it for this one, guys. Make sure you go check out the website. That's www.tutvid.com for more free video tutorials. And you can go check out the film at phillyisugly.com. And that would be super cool of you. So that's it for this one. Take care, everybody.